Uh, well, um, a natural question to ask is about um, types and subtypes. And uh, uh, let's see, what we've got here is um, a class C1 that extends C2. So C1 is a subtype of C2. And uh, we're looking at lists of C1 and lists of C2. And uh, we make a, um, uh, a list 1 here. And uh, if you try and set list 2 equal to list 1 so that they both refer to the same thing, you'll get a compiler error. Now, it might strike you as a bit surprising because you might initially think that um, um, uh, this list 1 was a, um, uh, a, su a subtype of list 2, but of course it isn't. Now, um, uh, the reason for that is, uh, is what follows, because um, supposing there was no compiler error there, then um, if you try to do this, um, uh, add a, a, a new C2 to the list 2, um, obviously the compiler will allow you to do that because um, uh, list2 is a um, list of um, C2 things so you can certainly add one and uh, because now um, if you're allowed to do this list1 and 2 both point to the same thing if you then try to get that element out uh, and put it in a C1 of course you'd get a typecast error and um, that's the reason why the compiler disallows this. So basically, these are two completely separate types and they're not related. Um, now, if you think about it, if this was done with arrays, um, you get a different result because um, uh, you get a runtime error when you tried to um, store a, a C2 in it because the compiler would know that list2 really refers to an array of C1s, and that's why we give you compiler error, um, a runtime error rather, there. Uh, but you obviously can't get that far. Um, you might say, well, um, doesn't the compiler know that uh, list2 points um, refers really to a, a list of C1 at this point? And the answer to that is no, of course, because although you can see this, the compiler certainly can't, because uh, this assignment here could have um, taken place, uh, we could have called it uh, a method somewhere and have some really complicated code with a complex path that's uh, undecidable by the compiler that does this assignment. So there's no way it can know that list2 refers to the same thing as list1. So there's no way the compiler can determine that. So it's, um, uh, and, and it's, uh, it wouldn't trigger at runtime either because um, these uh, uh, list is uh, really well, the erasure has been done just referring to objects everywhere, so it, you would find that quite acceptable. So that's that's why this has to be prohibited by the compiler. So what I'm saying here basically is is that a list of C1 is not a subtype of list of C2, and it's certainly not the other way around. Um, However, of course, because list is a, a subtype of collection, of course, list of C1 is a subtype of collection of C1. And the same for uh, list of C2 is that's also a subtype of collection of C2. Okay. Now, um, two things that you can't do. Um, you can't use a generic type in an instance of operator. And that's because, of course, the instance of operator looks at the runtime type, and there's no generics at runtime. So... If you try to do something like this, ask is list1 an instance of uh, list of C1, uh, you'd get a compiler error because it doesn't make any sense. Because um, what uh, what happens is, uh, of course, this is erased and it, it, it knows that that's a nonsensical statement to make. Uh, you can do this, of course, is list1 um, an instance of list, and that's quite okay because that's perfectly valid at runtime. And uh, what else have we got? Ah, oh, right. Something else you can't do is when you've got a a, uh, um, a type parameter like e there, uh, you can't say new e because, of course, this has got a runtime dependence on what e is <laughs> in a way that you, you can't simply erase. So, obviously, that's not on. 